Well, that aside, you mentioned um, uh, uh, Mark Halperin. Halperin. This I yeah. thought was 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 really interesting um, because it's not something I thought that I would hear from Brian Williams. Um, here's Brian. Oh, last night. Yes, here last is night. Yeah, I mean, I, I should remind people that there has been nothing that has played on cable news in the past 24 hours that Andy has not seen in real time. Uh, but here it is. Except, the- that's an actual fact. That I have both. I have both. Se- except I don't. I never watch Fox News because that's that. You know, I'm not an idiot. that would give you a but, heart attack. Um, but here I is have CNN and MSNBC going at all times because you know I can watch in the past on one thing and then go to the other. Go to the other area. Here is uh, uh, Brian Williams on uh, the 11th hour last night, sitting with Mark Halperin. And Mark Halperin, to you, I say this with charity in my heart, as an every evening and weekly viewer. When Donald Trump complains that he is not getting favorable coverage in the MSM, he has not been listening to you this cycle. I think you've gone out <laughs> of your way to find the path, argue for the path, forge the path for him uh, in an <laughs> argumentative way with your co-host uh, to the nomination tonight. I thought you were interesting, interestingly optimistic. Where are you getting <laughs> the path? of positivity you laid out on your broadcast. Well, it's not a question of optimism. It's a question of looking at the data and looking at what's going on in the battleground states. I agree with Steve. She's still overwhelmingly the favorite. She has many more paths. She's got the demographics on her side. She's got the recent electoral college history that heavily favors the Democratic Party. That was, Uh, I mean, look, I, you know, I, that was about as much of a smackdown as you could get. Uh, I mean, Andy, what's going on? There? Well, well, here's the thing. I a lot of, and I've gotten into arguments with people I actually like uh, people on Twitter who I shouldn't be getting into arguments with because I actually <laughs> uh, like a, like uh, in my. Well, I'll give you just an example. I got like I like that John Favreau guy, right? Who was the speech writer for the speech writer for, as opposed to uh, yeah. uh, the 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 guy um, uh, from Swingers. Yeah. So. So I get in an argument with him because I say something about Brianna Keeler because I have watched every single minute of everybody's coverage. So uh, there was something about how Brianna Keeler covers things, and I said she's a horrible reporter because I, I, you know, I don't talk nicely on Twitter many times. <laughs> I said she's a horrible reporter, and I've seen her and Cuomo. Uh, both she's a CNN thing. reporter, Got, yeah, right? Sorry. And all they do is they take any story that's from Judicial Watch. Uh, or about the Clinton Foundation, and then they immediately say the Clinton Foundation is like uh, they they just come from the point of view of that it's a corrupt organization. And then I've seen this on so many mornings. And then so when he challenges me, go, no, she's a very good reporter. No, she's not a very good reporter. I've seen these things. I've watched more. So I I mean I'm not bragging. It's it's ridiculous. I've watched this much. So I remember years ago when Mark Halperin, uh, when the birther thing started he said this is what the republican party needs this is this is what galvanizes the base is this birther stuff so he's been a uh, he's been a huge trump supporter hey it's sam cedar why don't you uh subscribe to this channel you can do so right uh right over here so over subscribe